All right, let's talk about electronegativity and bonding. So what is electronegativity? It's the tendency of an atom to attract electrons in a bond. Remember, this is what electronegativity looks like. We talked about it before, fluorine having the highest and down here, francium having the lowest. Where are electronegativity values found? Well, on table S, so good thing. You don't have to memorize them. So when we subtract electronegativity values, it gives us some information about the type of bond, okay? So, and here's our general guideline. If when you subtract those electronegativities, your answer is between zero and 0 0.4, it's going to be nonpolar. Your answer is between 0.4 and 1.7. Your answer is going to be polar bond. And if it is greater than 1.7, it's going to be an ionic bond. But it's important to note it's kind of more of a continuum. So it's shifting like things that become more ionic or less ionic or more polar or less polar. Okay. So remember that. In nonpolar, we have electrons shared equally. In polar, they are shared unequally. And then in ionic bonding, we have the transfer of an electron. So something that had a electronegativity difference of 0.5 would be less polar than something that had an electronegativity difference of, say, 1.6. Okay, so remember, it's like a continuum more so than a hard, fast rule. All right, so let's look at an, a bond between hydrogen and oxygen. So we're gonna look up the electronegativities and we're gonna subtract them. It doesn't really matter in what order you do it, just subtract the numbers and we're gonna get 1.2. Well, that means it's a polar covalent bond. What about O and F? Well, let's do the subtraction and we get 0 0.6. This one is also polar covalent, but notice the difference is a little less, so this is gonna be less polar. And remember, in polar covalent, those electrons are shared not equally. So it's gonna be, the electrons are gonna be pulled toward the um, atom that has a higher electronegativity, in this case, fluorine. What about between sodium and oxygen? Well, look up those electronegativities subtract them, this time we get ionic greater than 1.7. All right, what about in O2? Well, that means two oxygen, so oxygen and oxygen bonded. So when I subtract those, I just get zero, nonpolar covalent. And then which is more polar, which bond? So for this one, I'm gonna have to do the subtraction for both and now look at the answers. Which one is the bigger answer? 1.2, so that is more polar. <clears throat> Which is less polar? Do the same thing, do the subtractions. Well, which one is smaller? The bond uh, between P and H then is less polar because its electronegativity difference is smaller. And there you have it, electronegativity and bonding. I hope you learned something new today.